Hey guys, I have some awesome and exciting news on my uh, T-Rex trailer range extender battery pack uh, project. Um, I'll start off with the simple stuff and save the big news for later. But um, so the simple stuff I'll start with. Uh, the battery pack is now bolted to the trailer, so it's all good. Uh, I have three inch by quarter inch I think that was about 12 inch uh, aluminum bar. It's really hard to see because again, I'm not a YouTuber and uh, I don't have any special uh, cameras or lighting or anything. So I got that, bolted it to the frame. Uh, it definitely seems solid. They're uh, class five and uh, class eight bolts. Um, it was just expensive to go with all class eight and I, I really don't think it's gonna go anywhere. Um, so yeah, th that's all bolted down. That part is good to go. I have some, uh, stuff set up. Oh yeah, my, my beast beer. Uh, I've been spending a lot of money on my battery project, so I couldn't afford any good beer. So ignore that. Um, so I've been working on the heating system. So that's why I've got a lot of PEC stuff out here. Just trying to figure out what I still need to buy, what I still need to get. Uh, I left these here to show you guys. Uh, so I've been interfacing with the... Uh, the, the CAN bus on the battery pack and on my car um, with the help of two awesome uh, other RAV4 EV owners who I could not do any of this stuff without and uh, one of them suggested, Liam suggested uh, Car Loop which is a pretty awesome uh, dongle. It, it can come in Wi-Fi, it can come in Bluetooth. Uh, I think you can do the combination of the both. Um, and they also have a 3G version uh, I'm still learning about it. He's, he's used it a lot and uh, really loved it, so I bought one of those. Uh, this was uh, 55 bucks. Uh, I got mine right through Amazon. And this is a DC to DC converter uh, that's going to power the 12 volt battery pack that I am keeping in there that I'll show you. Um, all right, so I guess we'll just move on. I, I have been uh, working on the heating and cooling system. So you'll see the PEX pipe here. Uh, that's still a work in progress. I'm still waiting on some parts. I ordered a uh, radiator for cooling. I ordered a Tesla battery heating um, a heater. So I'm gonna tinker with that, try to get that up and running. And so what I did here is just, I heated up that PEX pipe and just push it right on there and it it seems like it's on there really really tight it was just slightly larger than three quarter inch uh this is three quarter inch pecs and i even put this little <laughs> so it's kind of stuck there now i have this clamp uh three quarter inch uh, pecs clamp you can't really see it but it's right there i thought i could just slide it over top and this thing is not budging it's too big uh, so I, I hope it's going to stay put. Kind of things like it seems like it will, but um, so the heating and cooling is yeah just definitely still a work in progress. Um, you can see that the wiring harness is connected. Uh, bought the plug online that I mentioned in a previous video, and got all the data connectors going into uh, this box here. Right now, uh, the in order to collect the the CAN bus data. Uh, we just did it wired through USB, but I have it chilling right here, and uh, I've got it connected to power. I've got the CAN bus wires coming out of the battery pack, and yeah, so I've got that uh, there connected to my computer. It will be connected. I, I actually bought the Wi-Fi version. This one doesn't even have Bluetooth, but um, yeah, so we actually, so this is the big news. Uh, we just got a... Uh, I don't even know what they call it. Can bus data? We 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 accumulated the data. <laughs> I'm still learning all that crap. But um, yeah, so we did we did a run. The pack responded. Um, it's powered up. It's good to go. Um, it looks like the BMS is working. Like if, I mean, for all intents and purposes, it looks like a, a big milestone we conquered today. Uh, the, the battery pack is up and running and working. Um, so this is what I started. Oh man, my lighting just really pushed my 
camera would provide some light. Let me grab, I've got my light in my car because I wanted to show you something over here, but I guess I'll just show you this and then drag the light over there. Um, so in order to test and set up the uh, car loop, we, um, we wanted to connect to the car just to check it out, make sure it's all working. So this is the Tesla to Toyota Gateway computer. Um, this has the, the Tesla plug to get all the Tesla side of the data. There's also an OBD2 up at the front that you can get uh, the, the Toyota data, but really it, there isn't much. I mean, all the details are gonna be right back here. Uh, the problem with the Tesla side, the Tesla plug here, they don't actually provi provide power or ground. Um, so we were on the phone uh, going through all this stuff and I ended up just pulling the pins out of one of the spare OBD2 plugs that I had and I got them in here and it worked great. Another weird little thing with the uh, Tesla plugs is they have a divider right down the middle that runs perpendicular to this. So it just goes straight down the middle. So it looks kind of messy, but I just took uh, my Dremel with a disc bit and slid it right down the center and took all that stuff out. I didn't mess up any pins. Everything was perfect. And then we were able to connect to the car. So that's how we started. We got all the car's data. Uh, we checked that out to make sure it's working. Um, but for anybody else looking to try something like this out, especially with the RAV4, if the plug has that stupid little divider down the middle, uh, no Bluetooth or any dongle will attach to it. It's a Tesla only plug. Uh, so I, you just cut that out, you add power. Uh, right now I actually have it just running to a distribution block, uh, power and ground right there. Uh, it was just, we quickly rigged that up, it worked out perfectly. And uh, what I'll end up doing is just taking this out and uh, and just, I have power right down in there. So I'll just get power in there and, and connect it back up. Um, unfor unfortunately, my contactors are not working. Um, I, I'm actually close enough in this project now that, that I know the BMS is working inside the battery pack. I'm close enough that this could actually connect to my car, but the, the damn contactors aren't working. So you hit the button, I give them power and they click and they turn on, but there's no continuity between the poles. Uh, so uh, real big bummer. Um, I'm gonna have to replace those. I, I got them from uh, a guy in China. They're EV, I'm pretty sure they're the EV200s uh, with the economizer. I thought, wow, great deal. Got it for 25 bucks plus uh, like $7 shipping. And I actually just purchased two more from him a couple weeks ago, but they take forever to show up. So I'm really hoping these next two arrive and they work. Uh, and hopefully they show up in the next two to three weeks and then I can just drop them in and, and be done But unfortunately the first two did not work. So I just discovered that and uh, I'll have to deal with that tonight uh, But if you've seen my other videos or if you haven't definitely check them out But that's the Anderson connector. That's right in there. So that will unplug and plug into the trailer uh, And yeah, like I said if, if those if those contactors were working right now this trailer this t-rex is actually functional so let me take my light and go back over to where we started all right i just want to illuminate what i have going on in here and again watch my other trailer about the box i talk about the box i talk about the trailer um so i made a little uh, wood mounting plate there for a amazon special six fuse uh, uh, fuse block and I yeah, you can see just got the ground block down there and that's how I'm getting power to the battery pack so the first one on the top left those two red wires are constant power to the battery pack uh, the white wire that I have ran is uh, for the contactors inside the pack I guess yeah that's the other hang up too we I can, I can manually trigger them but I can't uh, electronically trigger them yet. I mean, it'd be, it'd be easy. I can just run some wires directly to the contactors and I can make it work, but that's the last obstacle. I, I don't 
so I couldn't really make it work right now. Um, yeah, so then uh, the next one down, the yellow wire is um, ignition switch power to the battery pack. And what I did with that is I just ran it through this flex loom that you can see right here to a power switch. Uh, pretty cool little power switch. And what I can just do to turn the pack on and off is just do that. And this way everything is self-containing. Uh, I, I, oh, well, I should probably also say that it's going to have the cooling system here. So you can see how I started. I ordered some parts that I can show uh, links to. But I ordered a reservoir, like I said, the, the Tesla battery heater. And that's all going to fit in here as well. And I'll probably still have uh, some extra storage uh, for some con uh, connectors and stuff like that. But um, right in there you can see the pump. It's not mounted yet or anything. And I ordered some special uh, connectors for those. So that's a half inch. Everything else is three quarter. Uh, so I, I didn't want to step down to half inch, then back up to... Uh, three quarter so the opening on this is actually pretty big it's pretty close to three quarter yeah maybe yeah it, it's it's pretty big so I just didn't want to step down and then go back up so I found um, a PEX half inch NPT to three quarter barb uh, so I ordered two of those those should be here hopefully tomorrow and then I can do some more connections in here but uh, I've gotten as far as I can with the cooling system until more parts show up. The radiator's pretty neat looking. I'm gonna put that right here in the front. Um, uh, I can post links to all that stuff below just so you guys can check it out. But one of the one of the things I love is that it's all self-contained here. And that way, I don't think I mentioned this in previous videos, but one of the other ideas that I want for this is to use this basically for long range travel if I wanted to go somewhere needed it for a long trip but while it's at home if I don't need it around town or if I don't need it for a, a trip somewhere I can leave it here and connect it to uh, a home inverter system which I don't have any of yet but at some point I'd like to have solar panels at this house uh, just a big power inverters and, and use this as a backup power for the whole system so I haven't even got into that yet at all it's it's gonna take a whole lot more work and of course money but um, that's the ultimate goal is to have this pack uh, be uh, good for road trips long trips stuff like that and have it at home for home energy storage and that's why having this is gonna be great if, if you watch my previous videos you'll see that I had connectors going from the battery pack uh, to up here and then I was going to connect to the car at the trailer hitch and I got to thinking about it and I'm just like that's a lot of stuff that could fail uh, especially up here in the northeast in New York uh, they're going to rust through um, yeah this this way everything is all connected the wires go from the battery pack right up through the floor there which I'll seal and this is going to be so much better um, yeah, I mean, I guess that's about it right now. I uh, So they have the can data. They're going to do some dissecting of it, I guess, and uh, let me know. And so, yeah, I've, I've got Matt and uh, Liam working on this thing for me and really interested to see what they come up, what kind of data they can pull. Uh, Matt's working on a control board to control the contactors. And once I have full control of those, then... And then, of course, I need new contactors for my car. But, uh, yeah, then uh, this thing will be good to go. Uh, really exciting night. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed my video. I think this is the longest video I've made yet to date. But, um, yeah, good news. Very excited. And if you guys have any questions or uh, need anything from me, let me know. I'll be happy to help. But I hope you guys enjoy the videos. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.